Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to change frame rates mid-video. So you can film a video on like 30 FPS, but then halfway through make it look like it's 15 frames per second. This is called posturizing time. I specifically like to do this because I've been making some videos where I introduce the subject, like, hey, I'm about to animate some of the most iconic set photos from Star Wars, and then in the same shot, everything switches to a photo animation. Um, and I like my photo Photo animations to be at 15 FPS because it gives it a more old school choppy picture look. And so I use this effect to go from 30 or 23 frames per second down to 15 to be able to go from like normal looking live action talking footage to then picture-y animation footage. Don't know if that makes sense, but I'm about to show you in After Effects and it's really freaking easy. Oh, and before we get started, I would like you to know that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So here we have the video in After Effects. So if you take a look right here, all the footage is now 23 frames per second because I wanted to capture the footage perfectly, you know, make it look normal. And then right here, you can see it becomes like a little choppy and it slows down. That's because I'm switching the frame rates. So this is without any adjusted frames per second, like that transition there. It looks way more like fast and smooth because I didn't change the frame rate. And this is with the changed frame rate. So here's a side-by-side -side of the two different versions. All right, so here's all you gotta do. So if you come up to layer, new and adjustment layer, let's just move it to where the moment we want the frame rate change to go. So I think right, right here is when I wanted to switch from 23 frames per second down to 15, bam. And if you wanna double check, you can go up to composition and composition settings to see what your overall frame rate is. And right here it is 23, 0.976 frames per second. So we will go to effects and presets and type in posterize time under the time folder and we will drag that onto our adjustment layer. And it's literally as simple as this. I'm just gonna change this frame rate option here to 15 and bam. Now if we watch that back, it's slowing down now, but you can tell it's become more choppy. Let's watch that back. Wow, absolutely beautiful. And honestly, that's it. That's how you change a video's frame rate midway, halfway, front way, any of the ways. All you have to do is just drop the posterized time effect onto an adjustment layer, turn it to the frame rate that you want it, like 15 for example, and bam, you got yourself some frame rate changes. <laughs> Um, now I'm gonna throw it to my sponsor, which is Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you're a photographer. Perfect. You can actually upload all of your photos to Squarespace with their portfolios and galleries feature. And these are award-winning templates that you can put your uh, photography in. Photography in, sorry. And so when people come to your website, they can look at your work in a professional, well-organized manner. Make you look really good. Next, let's say uh, you like numbers, and but you're kind of dumb, like me. Squarespace has amazing analytics, so you can see who's coming to your website, their demographics, like their age, their gender, everything. And they have beautiful graphs, so if you're dumb like me, you can just look at all these numbers and bars and be like, ah, that makes sense. So sign up for Squarespace because they've got really amazing and easy to use software. So I should totally get rid of this screen and put up the Squarespace website, huh? Beautiful. And lastly, you can stay connected really well with Squarespace. So if you have other social medias, you can embed them into your website. So if you have like a fashion Instagram, you can embed that into your page. So when people come to your website, they can also find you on Instagram. Same deal if you make music on SoundCloud. You can embed your uh, account to your SoundCloud so people can go to your website and also find your music. So stay connected with Squarespace's connected services. Best part is I got you guys a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Squarespace. Hope you learned something new and where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.